silverware. Well, what we hope won't be the only silverware of the season for Luton Fingers Town. Crossed. Yes. Here at uh, Barton Rovers tonight, the Beds FA Premier Cup, a 4-2 win. Your thoughts? Um, probably made it more difficult than it could have been. Stu, in all honesty, we should have been well out of sight at half time. Really, we missed we missed a few chances, good chances as well, which was disappointing that we didn't have the end product to that. Uh, the play was good in a lot of areas, and we, and we and we created a number of chances, but unfortunately we couldn't take them. So um, that was disappointing. And only going in two 0 at half time was, you know, we we, we, sh we deserved a bit more than that. I felt. Um, and then second half, you know, you have to give Barton a bit of credit. You know, they've 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 come at us and they've scored from two set pieces, one a long throw and, and one a corner, which it's a great learning curve for the young. You know, we had a young back four and a young goalkeeper out there and a young team basically. Um, and they, they, it's a big learning curve for them because you can have all your play, but if you don't defend set pieces properly, as we all know, you you come unstuck. And we did, and we're back to two all, and then it's game on. But thankfully, we we managed to to find another couple of goals. Now we started with uh, three of the, the first team boys, Isaac Vassell obviously who scored the second goal, um, we had Jake Gray and Alex Gilliard as well. Yeah. Great attitude shown by the boys, yeah. worked tirelessly didn't they? And obviously yeah, they've, all, good they've position. all come into the group in, 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 you know, in, in coming to a, a development game if you like and, and showing very good attitude, so yeah, got no problem with that. Um, the plan was from always to play 60 minutes. That was that was always what what our manager wanted. So obviously that's that's what happened. So yeah, and they, they showed a good attitude. So from that point of view, you know they've set a good example for the young lads and and had a go. So we're we're pleased with that. And obviously by the same token, you say there they they went off after an hour and that was uh, immediately after yeah. Barton had dra dragged it back to two all. Yeah. So it's good for the young lads that the young lads have, have got us through back to four. Well, yeah, we're, we're obviously we're very young at the end, and you know we're. we're it is what it is, but we think we've got some really good young players at the football club. And as we saw at Gillingham, and we saw last year in the Youth Cup, and and, and this year as well. And the you know we went to Wolves last week and won one nil. So yeah, we think we've got some really good young players at the club. So it didn't surprise me, if I'm honest, that the young players at the end of of have, have managed to score a couple of goals. Um, but like I said, we 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 should have been outside at half time. It shouldn't have even been a. The game really, we, we were, you know, we should have, we had that many chances. We should have put it to bed, which was that was a little bit disappointing from our point of view that we didn't take more of chances. We spoke last week about the varied experiences that the boys are getting. You know, going to Gillingham, playing at Hitchin against the strong Northampton side, going to Wolves and yep. coming up against top players, and then again coming to a non-league ground, an experienced side like Barton. They put them under pressure in the second half. Yeah, they did. I said like Barton upped it a little bit at half time. I would think their manager had a few words in. We weren't, you know, there was there was we we weren't brilliantly happy at half time. It was it was okay, you know, and we like I said we should have been out of sight, but it was important that we started the, the start of the second half well and went three four and we didn't. All of a sudden it's two one and they've got their tails up and we had to deal with something that maybe they don't have to deal with those young boys on a on a on a regular basis because in youth football they're playing against players who are the same size as them physically probably um, there's not too many teams that will just throw it in the box from uh, in, in youth football and that, that's a real good test that tonight a real good learning curve for them and I've just spoke to them afterwards and said that you can have all your play but if you don't you don't defend set pieces properly as a unit and get the concentration and the organization right then no matter what you do with the other stuff because you'll concede goals so um, that's a big learning curve and we'll, we'll go through that with them again on Thursday and obviously a lot more than that and make sure that they learn from it which is the important thing so that when they step into the first team environment they, they know what's coming and let's hope it won't be the last piece of silverware this season hopefully not nice to we uh, obviously it's a long long season and obviously it's nice to win that, I just said that to them remember you've won though and you've, you've shown a bit of character at Tool. you didn't wilt you, you, you kept plugging away and it wasn't great at times but we, we got there in the end and we managed to win which was good so we're, we're delighted with that and yeah fingers crossed that it's not the only bit of uh, silver that goes in the cabinet this season. Well done Andy. Thanks Bob. Cheers.